Get out of here! There was a time where Resident Evil was one of the biggest game on the PlayStation, and that of course meant that a lot of other people wanted to cash in on that and create their own Resident Evil-like game. One of the more obscure ones is this one from Taito, called Chaos Break. Chaos Break is a sequel to the equally obscure arcade game Chaos Heat. While the arcade game was a straightforward run and gun action game, Taito did their best to ape Resident Evil with Chaos Break. Even right down to the characters Rick and Mitski, who look very much like Jill Valentine and Chris Redfield. As the story goes, Rick and Mitski are part of the DEF. This is probably some sort of abbreviation, but it's not explained what it is anywhere in the manual or in the game itself. Anyway, they are sent in to investigate this mysterious research facility owned by Fluxus. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it as Umbrella, but Fluxus has been up to some serious bioengineering with weird alien cells found in a meteorite. Of course, everything has gone wrong, so now there's obviously alien mutants all over the facility. Luckily, Rick and Mitski come equipped with the same ridiculous weapons that they are used in the run and gun game. But ammo is extremely limited. It's kind of a reverse Resident Evil situation, where you start out with tons of ammo, but it gets more scarce as the game carries on. So what you really want to do is to try and beat the early enemies with your melee attacks instead, and try and roll out of the way when they are trying to attack you. You also get some secondary options, like napalm bombs and gas grenades. And because of the game's weird button layout, I've actually fired off more of those by mistake than I'd like to admit. Thank you. You saved my life. You look hurt. Are you okay? These wounds aren't serious. My arm hurts a little, though. Take it easy. Now, like Resident Evil, you'll be running back and forth all over the facility, getting keycards and access to new areas as the story unfolds. Apart from shooting weird alien mutants, you also get a number of puzzles. Now, personally, I found these more frustrating than fun, really. One of them is a Sudoku puzzle, and I'm not really good at that. So I actually used an online Sudoku solver to cheat. There's also another really frustrating one, where you have to press the button right as the white dot is on the center of the screen. But you also pretty much have to do it within a time limit to save a certain NPC in the game. And the reward for saving them is that you get to take them on an escort mission, yay! But if you save them, you do get an extra weapon, which is pretty useful, I guess. Another thing it has in common with Resident Evil, but perhaps not intentionally, is some incredibly hammy voice acting. It's really fantastic, and often don't really correspond with the subtitles. Look, never mind that. Just help me. Are you with Furuxas? No, I'm not. I see. Uh, well, anyway, you're here to save us, right? Well, yeah. Well then, hurry up and save me! Alright already, calm down. You were saying something about a life form. 
Chaos Break is one of those games that isn't really good, but is sort of rare, since it only came out in Japan and PAL territories. So because of the limited availability and subject matter, it's one of the relatively pricier games for the PlayStation 1. I would almost liken it to one of those it's so bad that it's good kind of games, but personally I found the puzzles more frustrating than they needed to be. But hey, maybe that's just me. If you are into bad Resident Evil knockoffs, check out Chaos Break, it might just be the game for you.